So finally Friday update is here. Uh, I am very sorry that I skipped one Friday update, but many things were happening uh, in our animal sanctuary farm, Jerikanda. Uh, we have uh, four new members, uh, uh, four uh, baby sheep, you know, and they need a lot of care and attention. So a lot of work was there, uh, different things. Uh, I am not... Uh, I'm not going to bother you with all that stuff. Uh, I am here to show you the geothermal greenhouse. And we have also in the greenhouse, we have one uh, disaster. Uh, the the snow started to melt and a lot of water came in. Uh, I'm just going to show you. We are in the greenhouse. Uh, you can see the cracks around the greenhouse. And you know, the, the, the soil went down. Went down. You can, you can, you can see it. There is a small hill on that direction and also it is a small hill on that direction. Uh, yeah, disaster, disaster. So water came in and um, it, uh, it flooded all the greenhouse. Water was actually uh, here on the bottom. You can see it and also almost, uh, almost somewhere here in the pipe and this is very, very deep, you know. So a lot of water came in, uh, also in, into the pipes. Uh, the system was not working for three weeks. Uh, so because the air, because the pipes were blocked, so air could not circulate through. And I can say that I was still very lucky because there were very cold nights and still plants did not get frozen. Look at that big leaves amazing you see so this is the second reason why I skip uh, one um, update that, that you can you can have a better comparison this is after two two weeks update and you can see how how they are growing nicely a beautiful Beautiful big plants. Here we have a salads. There is spinach everywhere. Self planted. I didn't. I didn't uh, plant the seeds to, into the ear. I just. I just throw it on the on the ground. And it is growing itself <laughs> like a weed. <laughs> and here we have also spinach, nicely developing new leaves, growing nicely. And here we have a colabri. I have to transplant them because there are too many in one one cell and these are very small cells actually okay, here you can see more salads and also collaborate growing the cauliflowers yeah so okay so that's it uh, <clears throat> what I will do now I will feel I will let it like it is I, I was thinking if I will put the, the compost and I will bury the plants which are already already growing there, but I don't want to do that. Uh, I will just fill the gaps with the compost, and uh, when the when the plants will be will will be nature and I will harvest them, then I will put the new compost, a big you know, and yeah, then I will plant the new plants there. So these were disaster news and we, we survived this disaster, but what you can learn from this, uh, from my mistake, what you can learn, uh, don't forget to make a trench around your greenhouse. Really dug, dug a small canal where the water can go off the area of the greenhouse, so it will not go inside the greenhouse and it will not flood your, your, your geothermal pipes. So that's all for now, and just last look uh, into the radishes, they are beautiful, growing, you can see, they are not hibernating, they are growing in the winter, and don't forget, uh, these, these plants were 
but I planted it and a new year, you know, new year, they are one and a half month old, growing in the winter, you know, in a freezing winter. So that's amazing. It is not same as overwintering, big, big plants, you know. This is, uh, this is cultivating a new plants, growing new plants from seed in a winter when it's cold and it's not uh, enough light without artificial lighting, you know, and they are growing. 